If you guys are looking for cheap, fast, and reliable Madden Ultimate Team coins, look no further than my sponsor, MuttReserve.com. They're super great. They got fast 24-7 support. Make sure to check them out, and make sure you use code Poodle at checkout for an additional 15% off your order. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, I'm going over the upcoming week of Mutt content. As you guys know, I like to do this on Sundays. It feels like it's the perfect day. The one video type of day, we got Sunday football. A little nice, easy-going video into the week. Now, of course, we do have some big content tomorrow. As well as a special stream coming up tonight. So make sure you do check that out. They will be revealing the Harvest promo tonight. Probably around 7 p.m. Eastern time. So make sure you are checking that out. Now, guys, before we get to today's video, make sure to join the Poodle Squad. If you are, are new and you haven't joined the Poodle Squad, make sure to go down below. Like the video, comment down below Poodle Squad, and turn the noti bell. Once you do those things, you're entered to be uh, shouted out. Now, for today's Poodle Squad shout-out, we got Nicholas Emmanuel Walk Walks. Walkes. Sorry if I said that wrong. Uh, shout-out to you, Matt, being part of the Poodle Squad. Greatly appreciate you. But yeah, moving on, guys. So again, the special stream tonight at 7 p.m. They're going to be revealing the Harvest promo or the Autumn Blast, so I should really be calling it. Um, so make sure you're checking that out. It does come out tomorrow morning around probably 10 30 eastern time so make sure you're checking that out i will be making a video on that as well you guys already know the deal with that but let's get into the weekly mud content so for starting monday we're going to be dealing with the autumn blast promo so like i said what we expect is probably two masters now they could split it so since it's starting on the 16th they could do one master tomorrow one master in a few days and then go right into the blitz remember we will probably be having a blitz for black friday starting next week now because of black friday days this year things being slightly different i really don't know how they'll be doing it will they start like early next week where they start the blitz at the end of the month closer to thanksgiving where they do cornucopia on thanksgiving like i wonder how they're going to handle everything in terms of dates on madden but you know, let's just assume we get everything tomorrow we will be seeing probably two masters um they are the game day cards i don't know if we'll see as of today because those are thanksgiving cards we might not see those sets for like a week that actually might come out like next monday because of course those are the game day objective cards you don't need those until you know it's time it's time for thanksgiving games which will be um the following week not this week the next week i believe Mm, actually, no, it's like, oh wait, it's not going to be this week of the NFL or next week. It's going to be the third week of the NFL. So, you know what I'm saying? Because technically today's already Sunday. So, it's going to be the third week of NFL games from today. But it's really only going to feel like two weeks. But anyways, moving on. So, don't expect that. And what we can expect, if they do again, like these little, like these, these baby harvest cards, you guys upgrade from 76 overalls. If they do that again, that will as well probably start tomorrow. Probably get like a welcome pack tomorrow. Maybe we'll include these. Maybe we got to play a solo to get the pack again. So, expect all of that. I don't expect packs to be too great. I'm hoping they bring back the Cornucopia pack. But I want to bang a Cornucopia pack. I miss, like, the Madden 13, Madden 25 Cornucopia packs where, like, they cost, like, 800k a million to make the pack. But things used to get crazy. Like, I remember watching Cullenberger back then and, like, those guys, and they would open up those packs and you'd pull, like, flat. you pull, like, Cornucopia RG3. you pull some. you pull some crazy stuff. Like, you'd pull a flashback in there. Back with flashbacks are good. you pull an LTD. You'll pull, like, a Ghost. You'll pull so much crazy stuff like Adrian Peterson, two star. I wish we can get back to that. I hopefully they do get a banger cornucopia because they've really like made packs lately more like robotic. It's like okay, you're gonna open the pack, you're gonna get this. It's not gonna exceed. Like there's no upside anymore or downside. It's just kind of like eh. It's like you're gonna be somewhere in the middle. Cornucopia packs used to be like the biggest, the biggest boom. Was like you could go from just like losing 100k to making three million coins. Like, it was crazy. But moving on, guys. So it is the autumn blast. I expect to get base cards. Low cards, maybe some of these guys you could build into massive. Remember, I did make my prediction yesterday for all the players. If you do want to know who I predicted, just head it over to yesterday's video. I did go over my Autumn Blast predictions. Autumn Blast is weird to say. I'm used to Harvest of Thanksgiving promo. Autumn Blast is just not, it's not. It's a it's a cool name, but it's just not coming off the tongue right now. It really isn't. But moving on, guys. Then we got Tuesday. We got Team of the Week. Now, Team of the Week has finally been up to 93 overall. Which means that the base cards are 92 overall, so that is good for Team of the Week. I think weekly content should follow the same overall scheme as, like, Legends, you know what I mean? Like, they should always be one of the best cards in the game. That would make weekly content a lot better. So, like, Team of the Week's coming in at 92s, and 90, 92s technically, because you really don't mess with the LTVs most of the time. You're pretty much dealing with a slightly watered-down cards, considering you can get 93s. Now, 92s are still really good, but I feel like they should have the 93s, and at least keep the LTVs 94s, right? Like, so keep it, like, in line with Legends. 93s wouldn't be too crazy. But then the legend, the LTD would be 94, which would make the LTD more, like, aspirable, you know what I mean? Because if Melvin Gordon's a 93 right now, he's eh, and he's an LTD, and you're not touching him. If Melvin Gordon was a 94, and maybe his speed was 92, and, you know, things were a little bit better, you might actually consider buying his LTD. I just think that's better. I think flashbacks, all those cards should be, like, maybe 92, 93s already. I think everything should follow, like, a, a scheme of overall, so that everything is competitive to be used. I think that'd be more fun, but... That's just my opinion. But yeah, so this week, you know, of course, I do my Team Blue predictions tomorrow on Monday like I always do. Have to watch the games first, of course. Then going to Wednesday, guys, we will be getting our wildcard Wednesday. Last week was a house rules. Now, 
it could either be rising stars or power ups. I'm just assuming power ups. I think it's time to get a big boom, um, boom of power ups, especially with Autumn Blast dropping tomorrow. I feel like it'd be nice to just like any guys that get a, a card within um, Autumn Blast that doesn't have a power up, they can go ahead and just fix that with a wild card Wednesday power up day. So I'm hoping they do drop some new power up cards. I'm leaning towards that. I mean, of course, it could be Rising Stars, guys. If it is Rising Stars, you guys already know the deal at Rising Stars. I mean, not, nothing too crazy. They'll probably up the overall, maybe 92s this time. Uh, maybe nine, maybe just 91s, quite honestly. We got Sean Murphy, Bunting, Sutton, Orlando Brown, Derwin James, and James Conner last time. Um, these were okay. Derwin James was like the only solid, like, good one. Murphy Bunting was solid. And then Orlando Brown was like at average. James Conner was horrible. So, I mean, nothing too crazy with those. So, I don't like expect too much out of them. Just know that. We could get them. Coming up Thursday, guys, we got the LTDs now. <clears throat> the LTDs have been really, really, really good. Like, Roquan Smith was great for a linebacker, if you rock linebackers. Saquon Barkley was the best running back in the game. Devin McCourty was low-key the best safety in the game until we just got a new one. Um, Brandon Brooks is a great right guard. Nothing special, but, again, great. And prior to, like, Cooper Cup, bad. Jones, bad. Stafford, bad. Vita Vey, bad. Marlon Humphrey was decent. Ryan Ramchick was decent. Actually, Ryan Ramchick was pretty good. Uh, Micah Hyde was good. Mark Cooper was decent. Darren Waller was amazing. Avery Williams was decent. But, like, now we're, we're on a roll now. Like, ever since here, like, it's four straight that are really solid. So, I'm hoping we can... Uh, so, we just hit 93, by the way. So, remember, that's going to be... We're probably stuck with 93 for at least a few more weeks because they didn't really upgrade to 92. So, I mean, they didn't upgrade to 93 so fast. They went through one, two, three, four weeks in 92. So, I mean, with, I don't think we'll go through four weeks in 93s. I think that was kind of extended and prolonged. But... We'll have to wait and see what they actually end up doing with that. But regardless, I am super hyped for the next week's limited editions now. Who would I want? I don't really know. That's tough to predict. I mean, who would be a good modern current LTD that would really just be awesome to use? That, that's a tough one. That's a really going to be a tough one. Maybe Tyreek Hill would be cool, but I know they won't drop him like that. But moving on from that, guys, on to Friday, we got the 50. Now, the 50, we just hit 93s as well uh, the last two weeks. So, again, we're going to be in the 93 threshold for quite a bit because 92s did last a pretty decent amount of time. We have one week, two weeks, three weeks, four weeks again. So that's four weeks. We only have two so far. So we got at least another two weeks. Um, do you think Moss is coming soon? I would hope so. We, we're still waiting on Moss and Calvin. Those are like the two guys that we just don't have an ultimate team, as well as a new Barry, which, again, I think could come with Autumn Blast and LTD, or for Christmas as a ghost of the past. So I'm waiting for either or. Barry teams to always get a card around those times. And then, you know, if he doesn't get a card, then you're probably stuck to Ultimate Legends because you know he's not going to get a Super Bowl card because you don't think he's, you know, he doesn't want a Super Bowl. Not that it. I don't think I, I know he hasn't won a Super Bowl, so I don't expect him to be there. And then finally, guys, with the Legends on Saturday, we finally have hit 94 overall in the last two weeks. So we got we got quite a few 93s here now. In terms of how long we've had 93 94s, it's been a total of two weeks. And then for 93s, it was like three to four weeks ish. So I do expect probably to have another week of 94s at minimum. Probably even two more weeks of 94 LTDs, and then we'll probably move to 95 beyond that. So I'd probably expect like mid. No, probably like last week of November or first week of December is probably when we're back in like the 90, uh, 95 range. Uh, more than likely going to be the last week of November. Not this weekend, not the following weekend, like that last one right after Thanksgiving. We'll probably see 95 Legends. But guys, I pretty much does wrap this, up, this week's upcoming Madden content. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. I mean, of course, the banger news of this is going to be um, the Autumn Blast. Hopefully that's great tomorrow. The reveal will be tonight at 7 p.m. You know, I'll probably, I might be busy. I'm not sure yet. You know, I got a lot of school work to do on Sundays, football, a lot of stuff, so... Hopefully, I'm around to do it. But if not, you guys know the deal. Go watch the stream. If you guys need coins for anything, if you guys need coins for Autumn Blast tomorrow, which you probably will need some coins, head over to my reserve down below. Pick up some coins and be ready. Prepare yourself for Autumn Blast. Thank you guys so much for watching. Use code Poodle for 15% off your order. I'm out. Enjoy the rest of your day. Make sure to subscribe. Peace.